how can couples maintain intimacy during physical distance? What is the importance of trust and mutual respect when exploring anal sex in a relationship? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Couples can maintain intimacy during physical distance through open and honest communication, exchanging romantic messages, using video calls to share intimate moments, and sending meaningful gifts. Trust and mutual respect are fundamental when exploring anal sex in a relationship, as this practice may require vulnerability and open communication between partners. It's important that both parties feel safe, comfortable, and respected during the process, and that any decisions are made consensually and free from external pressures. Concept of emotional connection. Although often associated with sexual positions and techniques, the Kama Sutra also emphasizes the importance of emotional and spiritual connection between lovers, reinforcing the idea that sex goes beyond the physical act. Confidence. Confidence is a trait that many people find attractive. Women are often drawn to men who demonstrate self-assurance in themselves and their actions. Connection. Between sex and happiness, studies have shown that sexually active individuals tend to report higher levels of life satisfaction and overall happiness, although relationship quality and personal satisfaction also play a significant role. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women relax, increase sensitivity, and connect more deeply with their body and sexual sensations. Consent law. Consent is a fundamental principle in sexual relationships. Legally, the lack of consent in a sexual activity is considered sexual assault or rape, highlighting the importance of clear communication and mutual consent in any sexual interaction. Continued education. Ongoing education about anatomy, sexual health, and safe practices is key to ensuring healthy and consensual sexual experiences. Control positions. Some women enjoy positions where they have more control over the pace and depth of penetration, such as reverse cowgirl or modified spooning, allowing them to explore their sexuality more actively. Cotard's syndrome is a rare disorder in which a person believes they are dead or that their genital organs have disappeared. This condition can affect one's perception of identity and sexuality. Couples therapy is an effective tool for addressing sexual issues and improving communication in a relationship. It can help couples overcome challenges and strengthen their emotional connection. Creativity and experimentation. Creativity and experimentation are key to keeping passion and excitement alive in sexual life. Being open to trying new sexual positions can lead to discovering new ways of pleasure and mutual satisfaction. Cultural aspects of female orgasm. In some cultures, women are expected to achieve orgasm as part of a satisfying sexual experience, which can create additional pressure and contribute to feelings of inadequacy in those experiencing anorgasmia. Cultural differences in sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among different cultures and societies, influenced by factors such as religion, history, and social norms. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted in another, and vice versa. Cultural diversity. Pornography reflects a wide cultural diversity, with productions varying according to the preferences and taboos of different regions of the world, providing a window into the sexual expressions of diverse cultures. Cultural influence on masturbation. Attitudes toward female masturbation can vary depending on cultural and sexual education received, with some societies being more open and others more conservative about it. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. Cultural taboos. 
in some cultures, fetishes and sexual fantasies may be considered taboo or even illegal. This can lead to marginalization or discrimination against people engaging in sexual practices considered uncommon. Customization. Many sex toy manufacturers offer the option to customize products according to customer preferences, including colors, shapes, and specific functions. Decorative items. Decorative elements inspired by the Kama Sutra, such as figurines, paintings, and sculptures, are popular for those wishing to incorporate sensuality and erotic art into their home. Definition. Premature ejaculation is defined as the inability to voluntarily control ejaculation during sexual activity, resulting in ejaculation that occurs too early and interferes with sexual satisfaction for both the individual and their partner. Delayed ejaculation. Some men experience the opposite of premature ejaculation, known as delayed ejaculation, where it takes them a significantly longer time to reach orgasm during sexual activity. In countries like Iceland and Denmark, sexual education is included in the school curriculum from an early age, aiming to promote healthy relationships and prevent gender-based violence. Different types of orgasm. Some women report different types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, or G-spot orgasms. The orgasm experience can vary depending on the type and stimulation. Distraction. Techniques. Some men use distraction techniques, such as thinking about something unrelated to sex, to delay ejaculation and prolong pleasure during sexual intercourse. Diversity in sexual preferences. Sexual preferences vary widely among individuals and may include a wide range of practices and fantasies. What is pleasurable for one person may not be for another, and all sexual preferences should be respected as long as they are consensual and safe. Diversity of fetishes. There is a wide range of sexual fetishes, ranging from inanimate objects, body parts, specific activities, to particular situations or contexts. Some common examples include foot fetishism, bondage, voyeurism, among others. Diversity of practices. Human sexuality is incredibly diverse and, in many cases, unique. From the most conventional practices to the most alternative, people can find pleasure and satisfaction in very different ways. Respecting sexual diversity is essential. Dominance and submission fantasies are common in human sexuality. Some people enjoy dominant roles, while others prefer submissive roles in sexual relationships. Dry orgasm. Some men may experience dry orgasms, meaning they feel the sensation of an orgasm without the release of semen. This can occur due to medical conditions or practices like semen retention. Dual stimulation positions. Some women enjoy positions that stimulate both the clitoris and vagina simultaneously, such as 69 or missionary with manual stimulation. Education and awareness. Comprehensive sexual education, which includes information about STD prevention, consent, and access to sexual and reproductive health services, is essential for effectively addressing the issue of STDs. Effects of wet dreams, wet dreams, or nocturnal emissions are involuntary orgasms that occur during sleep. They are often related to erotic dreams and are more common in men. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.